will be returning to this building to take on her fifth term in office, but she admits today that 2008 wasn't an easy year to get through. No, no, no. They were burning me. No, I was the candidate that they were accusing of overseeing people. Oh, we were I like know, this. But he says that it was the <laughs> Turn it off. Sir. Despite widespread support from Webb County, Patricia Barrera today acknowledged the, quote, troubled waters of the last 15 months after a year of issues with electronic voting machines and allegations that she allegedly fired nine people for not wanting to participate in illegal raffles and football pots. Barrera says she stayed strong. I've never denied anybody their pay. It's a day's work for a day's pay. These are issues that are being addressed, but we have a lot of faith in Patty and her department. So I think that at the end, at the end of the day, I think everything will be resolved. Fifteen years after first taking office as tax assessor collector, Barrera is sworn in once again today, promising to continue with the same goal to provide good customer service. A positive change, she says, prompted taxpayers to continue to support her despite any incidents within the office. They know what was what it was like before I took office. Okay, where it wasn't the taxpayer it was put first, it was the employee put first. She has a very efficient staff, you know, and, and you're out in the community, every, everybody talks very positively of her department. But Ada says that by the number of people that voted for her, it's clear that she's been doing a good job. She says she looks forward to this next term and many more years to come. Reporting from downtown, Annette Garcia, Pro 8 News.